All right, I got here a 2009 Nissan Altima Hybrid. The car doesn't start. They were saying something about maybe it's the alternator, but it's a hybrid and there is no alternator, so I'm not exactly sure. It does say on the paper, lost com with ECM. So, and I hear the fan running when I turn the key on. So that's usually a sign on Nissan's that there is no, that there's no communication. All right, so let's just do a scan. All right, so there's no communication. Let's just do an actual, let's go to Nissan. Let's make sure we communicate with something. And we're gonna do a manually select. Um, North America. It's a Ultima Hybrid, 2009. Let's just do a smart scan, see what we got. So I'm assuming we can't talk to the ECM. We talk to the cluster. We have codes in the BCM, the ABS. All right, this thing's still going, but we have no com to the ECM, the IDPM, and the TCM. Now I don't know if it has a TCM in this car, so that I'm not sure about. But I want to see why we have no com to the ECM. So let me just look at a diagram quickly. All right, so here's a powertrain diagram. Now on the PCM we have. I was going through them. I see a white and blue wire which says battery so let's follow that and that comes fuse 42 of 15 amps let's check that fuse just to make sure we have power because i don't see an engine light so i mean the whole computer might not be powered up so that is in the idpm fuse 42 it's over here right here on the bottom fuse 42 can't really see it it's not clear but i see 43 so that got to be 42 15 amp it is the second to bottom. So it is the second to bottom. Oh, the fuse is missing and the fuse is right here. And it's blown. All right, so let me just check if there's a, a short on this quickly. And there is. This fuse powering up the computer is shorted. Oh, well, okay, so I'm not gonna look at the network yet because we clearly have a shorted fuse. So I see the PCMs right here. Let's just get to the PCM. Let me go back to that diagram just to make sure I don't see anything else on that wire. 55, it's a white and blue. It looks like it goes directly to the computer. So, all right, let's get to the computer. Here's the computer, so I'm just going to undo the top connector, oh, and it goes out, plug it back in, and it goes in. So if the wire is going straight to this computer, I would assume that this computer is just shorted. Let me unplug this all the way. Now, this is a great connector. Let me just look up which connector this goes to. All right, so this is F13. It's a brown wire, not a green one. So that wire is not even going to here. That is cool. So wait, let me unplug this one. Okay, so this is the brown one. So this is the connector that has the blue wire on it. So let's plug this guy back in with that one unplugged. And we have our short back. So it's not on this blue wire, the white and blue wire that is right, I think it's, yeah, right here. It's not this wire closing the short. The computer must be powering something up that's making a short, which is blowing this fuse, which is supplying the computer, if that makes sense. 
What else is that supply? Oh, okay. It could be the throttle motor. Oh, it could be the ECM relay. Oh, maybe the, the maybe the computer is powering up the ECM relay. So how's this ECM relay work? Okay, here's the control side. This white and black wire. It gets power from it's internally powered from the the IDPM over there. And it gets the white and black wire gets grounded. Oh, and that's on pin 14, which must be our thing. Let me look that up. Is this pin 14? It's pin 14 gray. Yeah, it is. And it's, okay, that's the first connector. Now, which pin is it? It is the white and black wire, pin 24. So let's go look at this one. All right, our short goes away. So this one we can plug back in because we know our short's just coming from, I'm almost sure, the relay. Okay, so now, pin 24, I think it's the third one over there. Let me get a test light. So now we have no short, All right? So I'm gonna manually ground this now I'm going to try to control the relay, which should be this one. There you go. I'm grounding the relay in the IDPM, and now we have our short back. So that, I thought my short was the computer when I unplugged it, but it's clearly not the computer. The computer is powering up the ECM relay, which in turn is powering something else up, which is shorted and, and bringing down this, blowing this fuse. That is crazy. All right, so now I got to go back and figure out what is the ECM relay powering up all right so here's the ECM relay right here okay so let's try this here these two wires are coming out of it this red and black wire what does that power up ooh goes through all the coils The evap canister. All right, you know, I'm going to go straight to the coils. All right, we're going to go to the coils right now. We'll unplug them and see if our short goes away. So let's plug this back in. There we go. Our short's back. And I'm sorry the fan's making so much noise, but it's because there's no calm. This is already off. That's good. All right, so let's just unplug one coil. Oh my gosh, our short went away. That is crazy. Is this coil just shorted? Did I get lucky? Hold on, let's plug this one in. Let's unplug this one. Our short's back. All right, unplug this one. Nothing doing. I unplugged the second one and our short's still there. So it's really just this coil must be shorted. That is crazy. See, the fan turned off, and I probably have communication now. I'm going to check in a minute, but let me just swap these coils over just to see if it's a problem with this wiring. Are they OEM coils? I don't know. So, you know, let me just plug this one into here, and we're good. So, wait, let's plug this one into the second one. There we go. Our short's back. This is a shorted coil. Wow, that is crazy. All right, so let me get rid of this coil for now because we know that's the shorted one. Plug this guy back into here. This one we're gonna leave unplugged for now. We have no short. Computer's plugged back in. Let's go see if we have communication. Let me shut the thing and turn it back on. Okay. There we go. It brought up the vent. That means the ECM's gonna communicate. Let's do a full scan.
We got communication. That is crazy from a shorted coil. Now I have to make sure this thing starts. I didn't try that yet. Let me just wait till this finishes. All right, so we still have no com to the IDPM, the IPDM. I always say that backwards. That's the fuse box and the TCM. Now it could be we don't have communication to the TCM. I'm not sure. Um, but this I'm assuming we should have communication to. I'll look at that in a second. Let me just see what these codes are. High voltage ECU engine mill requirement. And the high voltage. We also have no comp to the high voltage module. ABS has an ignition. Let's see. BCM, can't communication. All right, let's just clear everything. All right, it doesn't seem like it's clearing. Let's just see if this car starts. All right, we're off. Put on the brake. I was just putting the computer back. Check this out. The inverter assembly is made by Toyota. I just found that pretty cool. All right, I'm just gonna put a regular fuse back in here. I'm gonna leave that coil unplugged. Um, that one back on. Let me just get a fuse. That's back in. Now, I still have to figure out why we have no communication. I was just checking signals at the IDPM and the CAN network is good there. So, I wanted to see if I could communicate. And now I could communicate with the IDPM. Could I have a four? Is there codes on it? Past communication circuit. Well, let me do a full scan one more time. Two codes in the ECM now, but I was unplugging things, so it's possible. Right, I'm just letting it scan the IDPM. It might not pick it up, and it could be it's really going to have communication with the TCM and the hybrid as long as I push on it after. Yeah, I see. So I wonder if, let me pause this because these things take forever. All right, I just want to see if I can communicate if I enter. You see, I can't because once it does it, it doesn't let you communicate, but what's in the ECM? There is a can. Oh, because I unplugged the thing by the IDPM. Let me erase. Let me go in here and erase these codes. Yeah, I don't know. I think froze. All right, now let's push on the IDPM. Let's see if we can enter. And I could. All right. Let's go to the EV and see if I can enter. And I could. For some reason, on the main scan it wasn't working i don't know so i could i have communication to everything it seems like is there codes here lost com ecm can time okay so let's clear fault codes yes okay read fault codes no dtcs let's go into the idpm read fault codes okay it's a passcode clear fault codes yes now let's go on the ECM. All right, read fault codes. Can comp circuit. Okay, let's clear fault codes. Yes. Okay, read fault codes. Perfect. Let's clear the BCM codes. Clear fault codes. Yes. Read fault codes. No DCs. Now let's just try to start it. Let me shut it off. Foot on the brake. It's our, It's running. It says ready. Now it's misfiring because there's missing a coil. But that was just a rabbit hole. I don't know why my scandal wasn't communicating. The codes had to be cleared one at a time. That was all problem. That's it. Um, this car is fixed, I think. I mean, I have to get a new coil on it, let it run, and then do a rescan, but the car's running. Let's shut it off. Um, does it start again? Yeah, it's running. Let's put it in drive. 
it needs a coil. It's misfiring too badly. Um, I'm done for tonight. Thanks for watching.